hey guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is Omolade Okaito and I focus on faith travel and reviews this video is going to be a little bit different I'm going to speak about why I decided to go back to therapy for check-in sessions and just to do a few sessions before I get into it if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you support a sister I would really appreciate it the buttons just below let me get right into it so I decided to do some check-in sessions it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time therapy never stops like once you've experienced it it never stops it's something that I really do believe that people should continue doing if they can afford to for me it should never stop and I was procrastinating in a way like because I was just so okay and so good and like I would say the best at my mental health, feeling the best when it came to my mental health for a long while, I didn't prioritise doing check-in sessions. But then I would say, I would be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do check-in sessions, see and whatnot. Then it took a situation for me to be like, oh, you know what, I need to do check-in sessions. So I was experiencing anxiety again. I would say more at a calmer level than what I've experienced in the past and yeah I think for me my situation can be sometimes I can believe thoughts are true you get thousands and thousands of thoughts in our minds it just passes through but the difference with me is that sometimes I can take one negative thought hold on to it and believe that it's true and um, that's the difference with me yeah so that happened to me not too long ago so I got a negative thought I thought it was true and though I let go of it maybe a few hours later I started to go around and around in circles about it um, and I wouldn't let it go so I was going through that ruminating period where I just can't let go I just keep thinking and thinking about the thought um, thinking that it's true but the difference this time around and last time around is that I was aware of what was going on so I was aware that I'm anxious at the moment and I was aware that this is anxiety and um, that's the difference it's just I was just finding it difficult to come out of that because once you get into it it's really hard to get out of it if that makes sense especially when the deeper that you go into it it's best to catch it earlier on than to just go deep 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 and then going round and round in circles with that thought so I was like okay you know what maybe it's time for me to start therapy again and use this opportunity to start it it's bad it's bad I should have not allowed this situation for me to go back to therapy because I wanted to go back anyway and do some checking sessions just to see how I am but yes it took this to happen for me to go back to do some checking sessions I remember speaking to a friend and this is why it's really important to look after yourself my friend highlighted to me several things that I was going through I'll say uh, quite a few life-changing things that I was going through and she highlighted that to me she was like oh you know I noticed that you got you're going through this and this and this that's quite a lot to be going through all at the same time and I was thinking oh my gosh uh, you're right like to me I just thought okay it's life I just have to go with it I just have to deal with it she reminded me that when you're going through certain things sometimes that can trigger or bring back the anxiety and I was thinking oh my gosh I think you're right I think you're actually right so it was more of a reflection time for me to do a check-in with myself about what is going on and some of the life-changing things that I'm experiencing at the moment and how am I dealing with it am I looking after myself is there self-care for myself am I doing that enough and I wasn't I was literally just living each day day by day day by day day by day like you know just like okay I have to deal with it I have to deal with it it is what it is but no sort of self-care no sort of reflection no sort of going back to healthy habits that put myself first Whew. and again I will kid you not the tightening of the chest started the heart palpitations a little bit started like this kind of weird pain in this area like started because I was going round and round in circles with my thoughts so now it was now becoming more of a health issue physically because once here like in your mind once you're going through that mentally it affects you physically as well so I was beginning to see the physical effects as well and I was just like whoa this is not good and I don't like that feeling because it's such a painful feeling like 
the tightening of the chest and it feels like you're like having a panic attack if for those of you who haven't experienced a panic attack it's horrible it is horrible it felt like that but it was just it just felt quite permanent and it's not spiritual attack okay it's not spiritual attack eh? old me will be like a spiritual attack but it's not okay <laughs> so I decided to put myself back into therapy for checking sessions. It was a bit of a battle because I went through the private route. Like, I was like, okay, let me try and go back to my old therapist. But they were fully booked and I was just like, mm, I don't really want to wait, like on the waiting list and stuff like that. Thank God that God has given me the means to be able to go through the private route during the season. I'm not saying every season will be like that, but during the season, God has given me the means to be able to go through the private route i went for another service called better help um, a lot of content creators on youtube promote better help and it was actually Brini lee i remember she mentioned about better help and you know how great it is and stuff so i was like okay you know what let me go with this one because they've got a wide variety that you can select from and they're global so let me just go for them so i went for them and what i liked about them is that i could select who I would like to see in a sense like so maybe you prefer someone from similar background to you or maybe you prefer a woman or a man you have like a wide variety to select from you're able to look at their profile see what they specialize in really good really really good funny enough I actually went for someone quite opposite from me to be honest which has been such an interesting experience so I thought okay you know what let me just try it out I actually went with someone from a different background from me like at first I was just like oh man like mm. but yeah I was just like let me just give it a try let me be optimistic you never know but yeah it's been really good it's been so so good it's so nice to just hear a different perspective on your experience and to get somebody else like completely from a different background different experience in that sense who specializes in anxiety but they're looking in and they're able to kind of uh, point out certain things and point out things that i would have never noticed so that's been an experience in itself so many things I learned, you know, not being hard on myself because I tend to be really hard on myself. Understanding that I went through quite a lot of coercive control, manipulation, a lot of things like she highlighted to me. Just understanding that some of the experiences that I went through, I was at a very young age. So yeah, I just, I just, I really appreciate her and I really appreciate her advice and techniques to help me, even when it comes down to breathing techniques, grounding techniques. And just even just when it comes down to like self-compassion, self-care, how you talk to yourself, all of that, you know. So that was really, really helpful. Oh, sorry. I got excited. Me, not me doing this on the camera. <laughs> Anyways, so I was, I was getting passionate. Then again, I guess because it's such a subject that's so dear to my heart. So to anyone who is suffering or going through it, and you're thinking, I don't want to do therapy. I don't want to speak out. Please, please, please do speak out. Please, please, please do therapy. Like, if you can't afford the private route, there's also the NHS route. I apt, you know what I mean? There's, there's that route that you can go through. I'm an advocate for it. And, you know, it's so disheartening to see a lot of people who have gone through it and who have taken their lives due to their mental health. You know, we can see it all over social media, you know, I've seen it on TikTok, Instagram, and it's really, really sad and, and so disheartening. And, you know, one thing is I never want anyone to feel that they are dealing with this in isolation. So please, please, please get the professional help that you need. Even as Christians, guys, like, I know that it can be a taboo subject and I know that there's still a lot of work to be done within our community and awareness when it comes to it but please take care of yourself the combination of prayer and the combination of professional help it is amazing and i'm an advocate for both at the end of the day god has put these professionals for a reason he's put these professionals in this earth for a reason so let us not ignore it yeah so prayer the word and therapy the, the help that's around all the combination works hand in hand so guys i never ever want anyone to feel that they're alone in this because it's hard even i go through it <sighs> yeah this is just me being my authentic self you can see there's nothing there's no package there's no makeup there's no hair there's nothing i've, I've tried to you know <sighs> you know what i mean 
do this Afrocentric look. I don't even know if it's even working. But this is just me coming as me, yeah? And letting you know that if you need help, get the help. Get the help. I hope that this video has been encouraging and you know for those of you who have gone through the therapy route if you ever feel that you need check-ins there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong if you feel like you're going back if you feel like you're going back or you're just not in the best mood there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong you know we are human and we all go through it you know we all go through life so I really hope that this video has been really encouraging you know I'm transparent about it and I hope it will encourage others to you know speak out and be more transparent about it as well but on that note guys do comment below do support a sister do like and do subscribe until next time